Hello there and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to my garden. I am out here with my Malabar spinach, red Malabar spinach and cucamelons. Look at this. Once you plant cucamelons, and here's one right here, you will have them forever. These drop their seeds very well and they replant themselves everywhere which is a good thing because um, they are so delicious. And there's some over here too. I don't know if you can see them. They're so delicious and my kids really, really love them. And uh, as long as you have space for them to grow, and this is the size that they get. And these are also called sour gherkins. And they are, they look like a watermelon. Now look, I got watermelon over here. They look, Oops, I stepped on something. They look just like the watermelon, but they're sour and they're, they make a great little snack. And I also wanted to show you, let's come around here in my little beetle bag, get that out of the way. I wanna show you all the seeds from the Malabar spinach. So each one of these turns into a berry and I'll take you over there and I'll show you, oh wait, I have a berry right here. Can you see that? So that's the berry. And I just discovered, you can see my finger is a little bit purple. I just discovered that that makes a very good dye because it dyed my fingers. So in each one of these berries is a seed, one seed. And uh, what I have to do is wait for these to you see how they're darker in color. So this is the premature stage. And then this is the mature stage and then they'll stay on here and they'll dry up and then I'll collect them. And I will definitely be selling these on my, my website as soon as they're all ready and collected. Uh, because I highly recommend this spinach. If you want to be able to grow spinach in the summertime, look how grow well it grows. Well, we'll come around here. Look how well it grows. And I also have it over here and I want to show you this over here. Uh, so I also have the Malabar spinach in there and this is where I have a lot of them that are already in their berry phase and then they'll be drying and then there'll be seeds just like these. This is the hyacinth bean and I'm starting to see, I'm starting to see some of them. Whoops, not really that one. I meant to pick a different one. When they look like this is when they're dry enough to pick. Now the seeds, I feel the seeds, they're still a little big. They'll dry up and they'll shrink as well because they'll be losing all of the moisture. And so you can see here how many I have. So these will also be available in my store once these are all ready and prepared. So as they're drying, you can see here, just a few are dry right now. I pick them, I save them. And uh, even if I pick them at this stage where it's still purple, they would dry to like this. And each of these pods has about three or four seeds in them. So let me also bring you over here and show you some other seeds that I'm gonna have. Now, if you wanna have this beautiful, tall, stately looking plant. Looks like a palm tree, but it's actually a castor. I love this plant. Uh, let me show you in here, the seed pods. You can see all them. Now they're gonna dry and then I'm gonna collect them. And you can see up there, can you see up there? There's, there's a whole lot more up there. So this will die in the first frost, which in my area, it's anticipated for I believe October 17th, but I have to check that. Um, it usually fluctuates by a couple of days. Last year, we didn't get our first frost until after November. So this plant will last until that time. And then uh, hopefully all these seeds have enough time to mature so that I can collect them. And then this plant I started in January and um, you can see how big it is. And it, it must have been right in the right spot because it got really big. This one is another one, not as mature, not as big, um, but still just as beautiful. And even with lack of rain, uh, I had to stop raining because it was costing me, I mean, stop raining. I had to stop um, 
watering because it was costing me a fortune because we are in a drought here in zone 7a in south jersey what else do i want to show you one more thing this is uh video number one today i'm going to make another video uh with an update from the construction project out there but i also wanted to show you my my loofahs look how good they're doing these are getting so big so fast and i'm so glad because I also started these in the winter and it's been taking all summer and now it's fall to finally start maturing. So, but I'm really excited about this because I make products out of this. And then you can see here my passion fruit. So a lot of the stuff though, it's pretty much done for the year, but um, I'm leaving them like the peppers. I'm still getting peppers. There's peppers there. I have some eggplant over here to pick and then there's some basil still smells so very good so there are still a couple of tomatoes i can harvest there were some over there but really the garden is pretty much done for the year all right so that was this is video number one now video number two is going to be an update from the woods out there so i'll see you in the next video Bye bye